thing is just very um, questionable. And, of course, we are not going to solve the case today, but um, I just find all of that so interesting. Yeah. It and is. so, like I mentioned, this fellow, Booker T. Sherrill, who had worked there, an employee, and he says, you know, I remember when this happened, and I don't think Moore did it. And there was talk about, like, the manager's son, the owner's son had done this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, he also said that, um, you know, this was a murder that really rocked Asheville for another eight to ten years. I mean, wow. he said people were still talking about this, like, you know, a decade later. Oh, remember that girl who was murdered at the hotel? And yeah. he said that for a while they even, like, blocked off that second floor. And they weren't letting people stay there. Wow. And that once they even opened up the second floor to that hotel, that they wouldn't rent that room out. That that room was off limits for like years. Wow. Yeah. And of course, doing some digging online, um, there's alleged rumors, of course, that the hotel is haunted. Oh, because yes, of, this of murder. course. Well, what I thought was pretty interesting is that uh, there was. Um, you know, back in the uh, day of the 30s and 40s, there was a, um, what do you call it, a radio show that would come on the, um, that would come on, you know, the air. And uh, it was like a true crime kind of show. So even back in the day, people were interested in true crime. So we're, we're nothing new. No. Nope. As they say, nothing new under the sun. And there was this radio show called True Detective Mysteries. That was a hugely popular radio series that was based on True Detective magazine. And it was later even sponsored by Listerine. Oh. So it was like a big deal. Yeah. Well, in 1937, so um, July 1937, which was just, you know, about a year after this case had uh, had been in the news and been a big, big story. Um, the True Detective Mysteries actually did a show, an episode on the Helen Clevenger case. And so if you go to YouTube, you could pull up this True Detective Mysteries show, and you can listen to this old radio broadcast. Of course, it's classic Golden Age radio, crime drama. Um, you can definitely tell it's from AM radio. And, of course, I've worked in radio, so I can tell you, you know, what AM sounds like. It's a little, a little crunchy. Huh. And so if you go pull it up, you can listen to the story. It's really interesting. But uh, it's hard, you know, some of it's hard to understand just because it's so old. Yeah, I bet. But there again, it's like they even had a true crime broadcast of the story in 1937. So, I mean, this story was a big deal. That's pretty wild. I can't believe I've never heard of it. I know, right? And so when you're digging around into some of these Appalachian, Western North Carolina true crime stories, um, Helen Clevenger case, not something that's probably going to pop up right off the bat. Right. But if you do some digging, you can find some of these really interesting murders. And that's why we, of course, are doing this show, because we want to uh, tell folks about some of the deep, dark mysteries here in the mountains. And there's a lot of them. The more we look, we find one uh, or looking for one, we'll find two others. Yeah, that's true. So there's a lot to come. And uh, we have some in the works that are pretty grisly. Pretty vicious murders, and so we'll keep working on those. Of course we will. Yeah, and so get them ready. Let's tell them a little bit about how they can uh, sign up or join us or yeah. check us out. You can find us on Apple Podcast. You can find us on Spreaker.com, on the SoundCloud app or at SoundCloud.com, and, of course, Facebook and Twitter. And all you have to do is keyword search Mountain Murders to yeah. find us there. And you'll find us right there. We're also on Patreon. And, uh, you know, if you feel compelled to throw us a couple of bucks to help out with the show, uh, people seem to have this great idea that if you do a podcast, you're like rolling in money. Oh, and that's simply not true. <laughs> no. And we would like to uh, kind of keep it ad free. Yeah. So well, we would like cool, to do that. But being able to uh, have a couple of bucks, I mean, that helps with like the hosting, you yeah. know, and, and that kind of thing. But um, and it also helps us just to be able to put more effort into researching some of these cases and hopefully bringing some more that you've never heard before, like yep. this Helen Clevenger. I mean, I'm from this area. You've lived here. This is a story that I had really never heard of. So no. it was a big surprise when I started digging. And the interesting thing, too, is that the newspaper articles that I found, there's a lot of photos, and we're going to post some of those as well uh, to kind of go along with the podcast. And you can find some of those on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Yes, that sounds awesome. Well, until next episode, Happy New Year. 
Yeah, it's 2019. Ab- it's going to melt our faces off. Yes, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a really calm year. We're going to bring you all the murders. Yes, it's going to be a bunch of grisly tales coming your way. Exactly. Well, Dylan, as always, you're the best husband. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you, Heather, With- for being a, a lovely murder loving wife. Thanks. I know. Uh-huh. Without my impeccable research and your <laughs> golden, I don't know, <laughs> color that you bring to the show. Yeah, I'm just the everyday guy point of view coming and we love it so anyway thanks again and we'll be back soon with our fourth episode and it's guaranteed to send a little chill up your spine oh yes it's going to be a doozy okay